Hey guys, welcome to a quick guide. I'm going to show you one of the things I've been doing lately, which is farming for the Reigns of the Blue Protodrake mount, which you can get off a boss in the Utgard Pinnacle Heroic dungeon from Wrath of the Lich King. I'm level 90, and obviously if you're 90, it's so, so easy to solo. Um, if you're a bit lower than that, I mean, I did do it at 85, it's a bit harder, but basically if I can do it, you guys definitely can. Um, just to show you, in case you don't know, it's in Northrend, um, in Howling Fjord, by Utgard Keep. Round the back, there's a dungeon called Utgard Pinnacle, and you want to go into the heroic version of it, and then, yeah, I'll just I'll just take you through it. Uh, obviously, you can try this once a day. I think the drop chance is actually about one percent because they nerfed it, which isn't huge. But then, if you've done Raven Lord, then <laughs> You know what you're signing yourself up for. Um, but it's it's very simple. So you start off, you've got this room full of mobs, you don't need to kill any of them. Maybe a couple of these here. At 90 everything just dies so quickly. And then you can go straight into this next room, which is this one to the right here. Um, I'm a frost DK, so DPS. Uh, it'll probably be even easier on a tank. In fact, to be honest, you don't need to be a tank anymore to solo things like this. Um... Yeah, so then you've got this passageway with a bit of trash. It's quite easy. Everything dies remarkably quickly. And actually, there are... Scaddy the Ruthless, which is the, the boss you want to kill, is the third boss in this dungeon. But you don't have to fight the first two, as I'll show you. It's quite simple. The blue protodrake mount is quite cool, uh, it's a protodrake, it's probably the easiest protodrake to get apart from maybe the oracles one which is the green protodrake, other ones are all from achievements really. This is the first boss here so if you just run straight past her and out this room you don't even need to fight her because she has a long sequence before the fight starts, um, which you can pretty much run past without upsetting it at all. So a bit more trash here, when you get into this room you want to go up the stairs. There is a patrol on the stairs, again, all the trash here is so easy to kill. Oh, stuff getting in the way. If you're wondering about my lovely swords, they're transmogged from Maligos in the Eye of Eternity, uh, which me and Liam ran recently. Um, there's, there's a video of that going to be going up soon, so look out for that. <laughs> right, this is the second boss in this room, which is the one which goes into all these different creatures here. Um, but this one, you can just run past without activating. Very simple. And then we're on to the boss in question. Which is Scaddy the Ruthless. As you can see, it's very easy to just run up to this boss once a day. So, this boss fight goes as follows. He gets on his mount, Grof, and uh, flies off. And summons a whole bunch of adds, which we have to take care of. Oh, I've got a bit of lag there. So, you kill off all the adds. And then there's these harpoon launchers at the back. Um... You need to fire three harpoons in succession at him to get him down off Grof so you can actually kill him. So, and you get these from these harpooners here. They each drop one. So you need to pick up all three harpoons. So here we go, here's one, two, three. If you don't manage to pick up all three or don't manage to fire it properly, it's a bit of a pain because then you have to wait for more to come and that can take a lot longer. So then you wait by the harpoon launchers. When he's in range, fire them in succession like so. One, two, three. And that will knock him. It kills his dragon, knocks him off, and then you're free to just DPS him down, which takes no time at all. And it's as simple as that. Um, just finish these ads off. See if I got the mount. I've done this quite a few times. Uh, no, no mount this time. 
There's also some good um, transmog gear. And the last boss, who is through here and quite easy to find, King Yamuron, or whatever it's called, has some nice transmog gear too, uh, if you feel like running that. I, I had his swords for a while until I got these awesome ones. So yeah, and if you, if you run through that, there's an exit straight after that, so it's quite easy to get out if you want to do more Northrend stuff, or just hearth from here. So that that is it's as simple as that. So that's uh, a guide on how to farm for the blue proto drake mount from Scaddy the Ruthless and Utgard Pinnacle. And I'll see you guys next time for more WoW and other gaming related videos. See you around.